All right, it's time to get to the nitty gritty. What does this course consist of? A lot of things. <laughs> All right, this course is going to take you from the very beginning on how computers communicate at the lowest level. It's going to talk about the OSI model, the TCP IP model, the Cisco three layer model. We're going to talk about Ethernet networks and standards. We're going to talk about cabling and switching and VLANs and STP access list, NAT. I can just keep naming, 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 naming. And believe me, that was a general overview because each one of those topics are going to be broken down into each little segment. And I want you to understand by the end of each session what you just learned. So if I'm talking about spanning tree, I want you to understand spanning tree. And don't go above and beyond. One of the things that I see happening, and that may sound bad to say, but one of the things you got to keep in mind is that you're taking a test. Yes, I'm gonna try and gear you as much as possible to real world scenarios, obviously. So when you get out there, you you know you can fight, right? You you can accept certain challenges. But remember, you're taking a test. You're taking a test. And my job is to make sure you pass that test. So I want to teach you the concepts. I'm gonna throw some real world stuff at you that you will see. But again, it's geared to a test. So when I'm teaching you Spanish, I'm saying, hey, listen, this is how you gotta look for root bridge and non-root bridges and root ports and block ports and rapid Spanish tree. And I'm, I know I'm throwing terms out there, but all these things are gonna be broken down so you understand what they are. And as I break these down, I'm gonna tell you what to look for in the exam. What, there are, what are you going to expect to see in the exam? Because routing, I believe is 20%, if I'm not mistaken. mistaken. Switching is also 20% of your grade. A lot of people have a problem with access list. So we're going to break down access list, nice and easy. NAT is very simple. The newest subject that they have in there, which are the redundancy protocols. HSRP, VRP, GLBP, then you have your syslogs, SNMP, NetFlow, all these different things. That is what this course is going to consist of, but it's going to be broken down into very small segments. I mean, not that small, but they'll be broken down because I want to make sure that you understand each and everything. And I haven't mentioned that those of you, some of you, have maybe never used the packet tracer. So I'm going to show you how to use the packet tracer. If you already know how to use the packet tracer, left, right, up, down, and sideways, then that's a part of the video you don't need to see. But if you've never used the packet tracer, it behooves you to look at those videos. That way you know how to set up topologies and how to use the labs that I'm, I'm going to be uploading in this uh, in this course all right or the, that I have there for you right where it's on paper because uh, uh, unfortunately I cannot load uh, actual labs because the PKT extension is not accepted so I can't upload the packet tracer but I can upload labs in say Word document or PDF and things like that so you will need to set up those labs yourself so if you don't know the packet tracer I'm going to show you how to use the packet tracer from beginning to end for the labs that we're going to do. How to connect devices. Why are we connecting them that way? So it's very important. Segmentation, collision domains, broadcast domains, right? As a network engineer or a Cisco professional, that's our job to reduce broadcast domains. So this course is going to consist of all these different topics which are going to be broken down. We're going to take our time. It's a lot of videos. It's a lot of hours. But at the end, we got to make a sacrifice. We need the certification. We need it. 
It's no longer, eh, maybe I'll take it, maybe I won't. No, you need the certification. If you're in IT, if you're in IT, or you're taking a computer science degree, or unless you're just doing programming, you need this certification. Because regardless of where you go, whether you're working with different manufacturers of routers, routing is routing, period. The, the navigation of their iOS may be slightly different. That's easy to learn. Some commands may be different on different iOSs, but the concepts remain the same. So, and this is what I'm going to show you. So this course is going to consist of a lot of topics that have been broken down. So into little morsels, so you can understand each and every one. So I hope you're ready, because in the next session, we're going to begin with the packet tracer. I'll see you then.